Hi everyone, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Ketoba in relation to ketones and and how Ketoba is designed to support metabolism, uh, improve insulin function, and do a lot of things that will help you perform better and um, and um, um, manage your health and allow you to engage in a lifestyle that's going to be extremely healthy for you. So, you know, what is Ketoba? There's a lot of questions out there as to what this is. This is a newcomer to the ketone um, space, and uh, it's not a newcomer to our research. This has been ongoing work for approximately seven years on and off, and um, I decided to move uh, towards focus, focusing on, on the research and bringing it to a close in the last, over the last two years, simply because of, of market trends, really. But realizing that the uh, preliminary research was really was pointing in a direction that was supportive of health and um, helping treat people that had conditions that were in some cases untreatable. So what is ketoba? Um, you know we we know about raspberry ketones. If we look to this chart, we see raspberry ketones have been around for a while. Very different molecule. Very different molecule from the biological ketone that we are speaking about today in the context of ketoba. So raspberry ketones are typically a flavoring and aroma uh, agent that's often used in, in, uh, in products to improve flavor and aroma. So there's a lot of research that has indicated that raspberry ketones might be supportive of weight loss, but the clinical evidence is really not that supportive. So it's kind of um, controversial. And uh, when we move to the biological ketones, which typically are delivered in the form of ketone bodies called beta-hydroxybutyrate is, uh, is one of them. And um, beta-hydroxybutyrate will be converted in the body into acetoacetate and then um, acetone. But typically the most common orally consumed or exogenous source of these ketones or ketone bodies is the beta-hydroxybutyrate, BHB. Uh, we see this in the industry coupled to MCT, medium chain triglycerides, and medium chain triglycerides are often used in conjunction with BHB because the MCT, medium chain triglyceride, can be used by the body, and specifically by the liver, and in an activity called free fatty acid beta oxidation to produce ketones, uh, primarily BHB ketone bodies, and other ketones in our body so that the brain can use the ketone as a source of fuel. So what's different about Keto Boost and how it's fueled by Ketoba? Ketoba does not rely on the MCT as a facilitator or source of BHB in the body. So Ketoba is a com combination. It is beta-hydroxybutyrate, the ketone body, coupled to butyric acid. And butyric acid is a short chain fatty acid, hence the name ketoba. And this butyric acid is also a precursor for BHB. The butyric acid also acts as an activator in the body so that your liver is activated to produce BHB from fats. So it turns on what's called beta oxidation. The cool thing about butyric acid is that it also turns on um, these beta oxidative or beta oxidation activity in other cells of the body, including um, enzymes that exist as systemic enzymes that are literally uh, flourishing and floating throughout the body. So the adipose cells the body, uh, of your body, the fat mass, will have such systems in place that butyric acid will activate. Now butyric acid is normally produced by the um, probiotic culture of your gut, so the bacteria in your intestinal tract. And so if you are short of fiber and the microbiota is, is not healthy in the gut, then the butyric acid production is, is short. So what we have found in our research is that butyric acid, uh, when consumed orally as a supplement, can actually serve as a very potent anti-inflammatory for the uh, mucosal membranes of the gut and a facilitator for beta-hydroxybutyrate so that when we supply ketoba, we are actually supplying the ketone body in the exogenous supplement, but we're supplying a key or an ignition switch 
that pushes the body to produce ketones endogenously internally. So we're not requiring as much of the BHB in an exogenous source, which then helps protect the gastrointestinal tract from uh, gastrointestinal distress, which is quite common with BHB and MCT. So we let's look down the chart and see what this all means. You know, um, do raspberry ketones promote ketosis? No. Does the MCT BHB combination promote ketosis? Yes. And so does Ketoba. Um, there are many brands that supply um, different forms of these ketones and ketogenic inducers. Um, we can see them. There's there's a lot of raspberry ketones in the marketplace, and they're relatively inexpensive simply because we're not talking about the same molecule. To extract and produce the ketones from raspberry, the raspberry ketones, is a completely different process and a completely different cost factor. You can probably buy um, that product for $20, $25 in the marketplace in some places, but it's not going to do anywhere near what Ketoba can do and what Keto Boost can do. I can tell you, I just had a workout this morning about an hour ago, and um, I used the Keto Boost, the heightened Keto Boost as my pre-workout. There's nothing, there is nothing in the marketplace that stimulates that energy and keeps you going through the workout like that product. Um, so the recommended minimum effective dose to raise serum ketone levels, I mean, typically we're looking at extremely high levels when it comes to the typical ketone on its own, BHB, or the BHB with MCT. Ketoba, the recommended dose is significantly lower. I mean, we can get great results between two and four grams. And in fact, if someone is extremely serious about getting a, um, a significant, significantly raised serum ketone level or serum ketone body level, which would be the BHB, I mean, we've, we can look at a, anywhere from a four to five gram dose, but two grams is sufficient for the average person. Um, I used the Keto Boost this morning. Again, that has an excess of two grams and the effect is significant. In fact, I wouldn't want more than that because it's the energy level rises up so high that um, you're revving. Um, so what does ketone, the ketone uh, product and, and a ketoba driven product do metabolically? So basically what we're trying to accomplish with ketones is to serve our cells with a secondary energy source. Typically our cells will use glucose as a primary energy source to produce ATP. ATP is the the global energy source for our cells. And so we are trying to produce, to supply the body with an alternative source that will produce more ATP per carbon, more ATP per unit of carbon uh, in the in the um, uh, through the mitochondria uh, that generates your ATP. Does the raspberry ketone deliver this effect? No. Does the ketone with MCT deliver this effect? It does. And does Ketoba and Keto Boost deliver this effect? Certainly does. And you can feel it. You know, when your body is actually utilizing fat as a substrate for ATP generation, you're looking at approximately nine calories per gram that is burnt and that is used for an intense energy source. When your body is using uh, a glucose or carbohydrate source, it primarily would be glucose, ultimately um, we're looking at four calories per gram. Um, but going deeper at a molecular level, I mean, I mentioned earlier, we're looking at a higher level of ATP per carbon that's generated from a ketone versus a glucose molecule. So what we're trying to accomplish here is to train the cells to be comfortable with using ketones and fat as a source of energy. And in this way, um, you don't have to wait a long time into a, say, uh, endurance workout, such as um, you get on a treadmill and you're trying to burn fat. Uh, typically, you will not burn fat on that treadmill until 20 minutes into the exercise. It will take approximately 20 minutes before your body will burn off the glycogen locally in your muscle cells before it starts to use fat as a source of energy. Um, in this case, what we're doing with Ketoba, it is designed to primarily switch your cells in, in immediately when you start that workout to burning fat as a source of energy. 
There's no waiting 15, 20 minutes. You start burning fat immediately. Um, a typical ketone plus MCT product may not work as effectively as the ketoba to start in motion this immediate burning of fat. Ketoba is designed primarily with a green tea extract as well that um, uh, facilitates the activity. And it is a, is a patent pending system. Our research continues to generate more data. I just finished looking at a concentration curve, for example, that, dis, that, that speaks to endogenous antioxidants. Ketoba, irrefutably, irrefutably in this research, increases glutathione levels inside your cells, increases catalase and superoxide dismutase. What does that mean? These are antioxidants that protect your DNA, that protect your cells from environmental toxins, but also from physical activity. You engage in physical activity, you produce byproducts, free radicals that tend to degrade your body if they're not neutralized. And so part of how Ketoba works is, and our research is irrefutable, we'll be seeing this published shortly, that they raise endogenous or internal glutathione levels, uh, internal superoxide dismutase uh, mutase levels, and internal uh, uh, catalase levels. And these are protective features for your cells, over and above just for protection uh, from the physical work. There are a lot of diseases that cause uh, general oxidative activity that cause your cells to degrade. And so we're, we're seeing a, um, an immediate protective activity by Ketoba in your cells um, upon consuming it and that only takes within about 10 to 15 minutes to occur and is sustained over a long period of time throughout the day. Um, so there are a lot of benefits in terms of energy, blood sugar regulation, mental focus, anti-inflammatory activity, you recover faster from your workouts. Um, one thing that Ketoba supports the body with that other ketone products will not support the body with is that that mucosal membrane of the gastrointestinal tract is delivered an anti-inflammatory activity. Butyrate also supports the brain. Research has shown that um, many children with autism, for example, have elevated, le elevated levels of propionic acid which adversely affect neurons and, and neurological activity and butyrate counters this activity and is expected to improve the microbiota or the probiotic culture of the gut in support of better mentation or cognitive activity in support of better insulin efficiency um, and this is all research supported. Uh, common side effects if we move down that um, that chart, common side effects, you know we don't see a lot of side effects from the raspberry ketones and, and ultimately it's because they don't have a pharmacological effect. It's passive. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm safe to say that you know any activity anybody has has experience from the raspberry ketones is likely placebo and if it works for you as a placebo then that's okay. That's great. But we don't see any cl clinical evidence of pharmacological activity. However, you know with uh, ketones that are biological like the beta hydroxybutyrate when used in very high concentrations, especially high concentrations of medium chain triglycerides, it's commonly known that uh, intestinal distress is, is common um, and, and, and as a function then you disrupt probiotic culture. As a function of that you know you can experience diarrhea, dehydration. The cool thing is that ketoba actually has an opposite effect to that. Butyrate settles the gastrointestinal tract, has an anti-inflammatory effect to the gastrointestinal tract, helps to manage and balance the probiotic culture by eliminating, it creates an environment that, um, that creates uh, avoidance, for example, of pathogenic uh, bacteria. And um, you know, research has shown irrefutably that, um, that mice or murine models that have been fed butyric acid over long periods of time um, it shows that they're leaner, they're healthier, they're fitter, they eat less, and um, it's quite an out, it's an outcome that's really conducive to improved health. Um, scientific support for these products, sure. There's a lot of scientific support for the MCT with the beta hydroxybutyrate as an exogenous source. Um, there's scientific support for ketoba 
for butyrate, lots of scientific support. There's lots of scientific support for the coupled butyrate to BHB. Very little, very little clinical evidence or scientific support for the raspberry ketones. Yet, we still see them abundantly in the marketplace for weight management. And if it works for you, great. But it has to be something that's working from, from a placebo effect since there's no clinical evidence. So protected from patents, we don't see anything for the uh, raspberry ketones. We have seen patent protection uh, with Ketoba plus MCTs. Um, but again, it's very limited in how it can be used. It's, it's a great product. I think it works well, but, but it's very limited because, and I don't know what the statistics are precisely, but too many people react adversely to the high doses of MCTs. And so uh, I think when you're trying to create a reliability for um, a product that serves as a treatment for illness or um, a countermeasure for lifestyle problems, here you have something that's um, unreliable simply because of the, um, of the gastrointestinal distress too many people experience. We have not seen that at all with Ketoba and that is the BHB coupled to butyric acid. It's a phenomenal product. Uh, tastes great too. Um, I had, again, that heightened product. Um, I would have had two. It tastes so good. One right before and then one during the workout, but I think the energy level is too intense with two. For me, one is perfect, and I drank half before and sipped on the rest of it during the workout. And um, uh, the cool thing is that the butyrate, not only does it serve as an energy source, not only does it help facilitate the BHP, but it serves to rehydrate the body. Research shows irrefutably that it helps the gastrointestinal tract, specifically the colon, uh, reabsorb moisture and water and reabsorb electrolytes. And so if you're very active, this is critically important, not only if you're active, but if you're suffering from illness that contributes to diarrhea, it helps to balance that because um, you're reabsorbing water, you're balancing your um, bowel movements, but um, you're restoring electrolyte activity from physical work that may expend it. You know, the cost model as well. I mean, when you're looking at all the benefits, um, you know, you can buy raspberry ketones cheap, but why bother? Um, you know, the MCT BHB combination uh, tends to be expensive. So, um, you know, you've got an unreliability factor. You also then have a product that can work for people where it doesn't cause gastrointestinal uh, stress, that's for sure, but it's also expensive to use. And um, the Ketoba, the way it's designed, actually allows for usage at a much lower cost. Uh, and that way compliance is improved and, and we hope that we're able to deliver better health to people uh, in a way that's affordable. So, I mean, that kind of rounds up what we have in terms of the pros and cons of these different uh, ketone sources. Uh, we're very confident that um, we're finding the keto uh, is delivered most effectively as a powder. And um, we've tried capsules, we've tried powders, we've tried all sources. This is an amazing product. And um, I'm, I'm all for it. We, uh, I, I've actually switched to using the uh, Keto Boost uh, regularly for my workout simply because of the amazing hit it gives me with, with energy spike. And um, in fact, within a couple hours, if I have to go to sleep, I can still go to sleep. We have to all keep in mind that, that uh, when you go to sleep, you're, you go into ketosis. So ketone levels um, do rise. So what I'm trying to say is you may get an energy hit for a workout, but if you want to rest after that and you put your head down, those ketones will start working for you to relax and settle your mind. So it's, um, it's a perfect system.